The keepers of Reddit. How are the animals acting differently now that there are no visitors to the zoo? As a zookeeper coordinator I've been working at the now closed zoo almost every day for the past month. Animals that are free roaming, peacocks, iguanas, are more active and follow keepers around like they usually do with visitors. Most of the others don't show much change in behavior. Although birds like swans and flamingos are using the edges of their habitats more. In our local zoo the apes started to miss the visitors, so they brought in an artist in who's now just painting in the empty monkey house, so the apes had someone to watch. Edit, whoa this blew up overnight. Europe, they could tell they missed the visitors, because they became very bored, and are much more excited about the keepers than usual. Apparently they watch the visitors as much as the other way around. The keepers now have to pay them more attention to. And they also do stuff like hide food for them as a game also. Sorry for the confusion. I'm not as a keeper myself, but I live close by the zoo. And it was in the local news and such. Most of our animals are happy, as long as we can keep their routines, feeding times etc. For some they need a little extra. We do public encounters with our koalas, wombats, and snakes among others, so we spend an hour or so a day cuddling and handling these animals to keep them happy. A few of our koalas really fret if they don't get their cuddles. Otherwise we just try to continue to spend time with animals that are expecting human interaction and of course we can take things for walks around the place, like I'm sure you've seen at other zoos. Our wombats love a run and sniff dingoes as well. Due to temporary staff cuts, they no longer have the people to regularly walk the wombats. Some of the wombats are holding the keepers personally responsible. Imagine having a 20 kilogram chunk of muscle with big rodent teeth mad at you. My wife works at the gift shop for our zoo and the other day we had to go move some stuff around in the store because due to some heavy rains, it had flooded a bit. Of course we took a lap around the empty park, other than the keepers and few maintenance workers, and found that all the animals were really active and playful. A lot of them seemed really curious about us too. I'm sure they get used to seeing crowds every day, and were starving for attention. Not as a keeper, but I hear the lions out it more from my house now. Weirdly reassuring to wake up to, and realize the world is still going on. Wait what? Do you live on the plains of Africa, next to the GW Zoo, or do you own lions? Nothing that exotic. Sorry to disappoint. I live very close to a large zoo in the UK. No Carol Baskin-esque dramas. The city's gotten pretty quiet with all the events going on, so the zoo noises are added more prominent. Can just about see the orangutans rolling about and playing hide and seek with their blankets outside if I shimmy out the velox onto the roof. For a lot of our animals, having the ability to interact with guests is actually extremely important. Even for primates to be able to play with kids through the glass, they are missing out on a lot of enrichment. Guests keep a lot of the monkeys entertained. I watch our guests all day long show our marmosettes and capuchin selfie cameras and they love to see their reflection. Guests will also show videos on their phones to animals and the monkeys totally enjoy it. We have a rescue cockatoo named Ro who sings row 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 your boat to guests. When little kids dance and sing it to her, she gets really excited and feeds off their energy. So do our other cockatoos on exhibit. But now without guests to show off for every now and then, when it's quiet we'll hear her start row 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 and then she stop and huffs a bit and gets really quiet and sad because she has no one to sing to. Some of our animals really miss having kids to show off for. You also have to remember that animals in zoos for the most part have grown up totally accustomed to being around people 24 over 7. They are not wild animals at all really. They've grown up in a very different social dynamic. Quite a few animals get noticeably depressed in the winter months every year when we have few guests and then perk up in the spring when we get busy. Edit, in case anyone wants to see Ro here's a video a person found floating around on the internet of her. Any chance you could live a stream Ro and see if she'll sing. I'll happily be her audience. Oh my gosh I would love to. She's so hard to get a video of sometimes because she very sporadic when she decides to sing. 
but I'll definitely try. My girlfriend is a zookeeper and animal behaviorist. She says their animals are becoming stressed. One of their African grey bads has been plucking his own feathers. She also mentioned that, because they can't touch many of the animals due to the virus potentially spreading to another zookeeper, many of the animals are looking and acting depressive, not eating well, etc. I'm an aquarium keeper, and I've certainly noticed a change. Fish are not as stressed as they used to be, as there are no longer children stomping around and banging on glass screaming Nemo, Nemo, it's Nemo at every clone fish. We brought some of our younger penguins down to let them watch the fish, and they were intrigued but confused as to why they couldn't catch them through the glass. Our octopus has become much more friendly as well, and instead of hiding all day from people, enjoys playing with small baby toys or solving food puzzles. It's been nice. I wish there were guidelines people had to sign to behave at zoos before entering, but at the same time, they are the lifeline we so desperately need to keep functioning. Fellow octopus keeper here. Without the crowd scaring her into her cave, our GPO has gotten straight up feisty. She's so active, I've encouraged our parrot keepers to go past her when taking the birds on walks, just for a little extra visual stimulation. She's got quite the love affair with one of the cockatoos. The pandas could finally get it on. 10 years they have been waiting for people to leave them alone. Imagine waiting for privacy for 10 years. Finally get some, only to have pictures of you getting it on plastered all over the internet. Finally a thread I can answer. Not a whole lot of change. But animals definitely missing out some enrichment of seeing guests, especially the otters, that follow the kids in the glass underwater. Takin, manned wolves, bison, gibbons, bopies, lions, etc. all are about the same. Some of our animals that are skittish have been standing closer to the fence, where guests usually are, zebras, gazelle, which is nice. I'm late to the thread, so I'm sure this will get buried, but I work for a very large, very busy as a zoo. I work with the ambassador animals, so they are animals that are very used to the public. Pretty much like what everyone else has said, the animals are mostly confused that there aren't any people. Our petting zoo animals in particular are super needy. The second they see or hear us, they all come running over and start crying for attention. We are trying to give all the animals as much attention as possible, but we are down to a bare bones crew, so it's not as much as we would like. I work at a very well known and heavily visited zoo. I work with ambassador animals, and it's nice to get a chance to take animals to areas of the zoo they wouldn't normally get a chance to go to because of traffic etc. But, the free ranging geese man, they are getting mean and territorial. Lee Trollbridge Trolls. They might have the hardest time adjusting when all the people come back and they can't control every pathway. I've been watching the Duranga zoo cams and the seals definitely keep trying to look through the glass for people while the tigers will pace for 40 minutes straight in front of the viewing window. I'm on day 25 of working at a closed zoo. I work with great apes and their behavior has changed a bit. They are generally very interactive with the public, so they are seeking even more attention than usual from us. Some of them were suspicious at first of the overwhelming silence outside now. They were climbing up high and scanning the area looking for everyone. Edit I forgot to mention the wild animals. We are in a much larger park, and wild animals wander in all the time, but always scatter when the crowds roll in. Now, there's bucks just walking around raccoons and foxes out in the middle of the day and the squirrels my god the squirrels not a zoo but my dog is a therapy dog as in i'm a therapist and she comes to work with me and gets cuddles from my clients but since i'm doing telehealth she still comes to work with me but nobody else shows up she does a lot of crying cuddles from me doesn't seem to matter I'm a full time zookeeper, and it's been difficult since we had to lay off all our seasonal slash part time help. 
more work for those of us still there, but the animals are all still getting top notch care. We've been able to take them out to new places they don't get to when guests are around. Like taking our porcupine to the Minati building and walking a cheetah past the rhinos. I think it's fun for them, but I haven't seen any animals acting differently. Walking the cheetah past the rhino? Isn't that showing him where to find a nice meal, if he gets a chance? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. New videos every day. Check out our playlist.